So in MLB and 2K, all that, it's fun to put yourself into the game. You know, step into the shoes of a professional. Uh, you see a spinning image uh, with the face scan. That, that's clearly me. Uh, they got it up to the T. Uh, it couldn't have been any better as if they mo-capped me, had the you know, whole suit on. It, it's perfect. I love it. But ball players insane this year. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a certain glitch which we're going to be uh, keying in on. It is crazy. You're going to be maxed out in no time. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the love on the Gomer Simpson channel. And let's get into it. The ball player this year is uh, basically copy and paste. Rare, I know, for an MLB the show game. You probably did not expect that. But of course, uh, we do have the face cam. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why they didn't get my beard at all. They just got like a little uh, little goatee. I uh, ain't no Heisenberg. I can't really rock that. Yep, it's that special time. Opening day. Well, it happened a few days ago. And, uh, you know, opening three free wins for the Twins. 3-0, uh, and all. good start to them. Underdog Fantasy, we're back again for another season. You guys, make sure to use promo code GOMES. You'll get a $100 deposit match. Uh, they've been going to a lot of new states. I'll show a map right here of where they're located so you guys can get in on all the action. It's been a lot of fun so far. Again, I highly recommend utilizing the insurance feature. That way, if you do a five pick em slip, you can afford forward it to get one wrong and still get paid out, which is a super, super cool feature that I'm very glad that they added last year. Um, Underdogs has been a ton of fun. My favorite way to play is just put a couple bucks down, you know, put a five slip in, um, bet like uh, $5 or something. It just makes games way more fun to watch, especially if you're a fan of a shitty team. You know, eventually the twins will come down to reality, and that's going to be me in that ballpark. But uh, use promo code GOMES Underdog Fantasy for a $100 deposit match. Thank you again to them for sponsoring us this year. Now, ball player this year works a little differently because they finally figured out how to put two way players into the game, such as Shohei Otani and such as your own ball player as well, to where you can have them hitting and you could also have them pitching. So you put him at DH and you can also put him in the rotation so you can pitch and hit in the same game with him uh super cool that they finally work because uh, it's super cool in real life uh and here's where we get a little glitchy here is where the glitch steps in currently if you go to your ball player every equipment item that you well equip doubles so you go here all the bats that you put on all the batting gloves everything of that nature is going to double the boost that it gives you so you see this captain bat that I've equipped on him is going to give me 16 power and 16 contact. The reason that's working is because, uh, well, your two-way player is being counted as, well, two players. So you're getting that boost twice. I have done zero grinding of Road to the Show on this player right here. Uh, and obviously, I don't have the best equipment. We've been frugal. If you go on the market, uh, people are starting to key in. <laughs> Uh, they go for a little pretty penny. Every diamond equipment item is through the roof in price, way more than normal because of this glitch. They know you don't really even have to play the game. It, it is as pain to win as it possibly gets. And uh, no, this isn't Madden, so that is not uh, as intended. Uh, that's a bug. That's a glitch, which will probably get fixed at some point. But for now, you might as well utilize it. So we don't have much equipment on our guy. I've done no grinding, but I'll show you where we're at. So do a little pause screen here. We go to Joe Random and uh, boom. Yeah, you know, for a guy who's got one diamond bat, silver batting gloves, uh, I think my ritual boost bunt in clutch. Uh, you know, he is uh, using hand-me-downs here. He's, you know, bonus equipment for the goodwill there. Uh, he's still pretty damn raw. Really, 100 plus power for not even touching a road of the show game is pretty great. He's got 96 K9 already. Uh, so yeah, this is busted, this is broken. Um, I highly recommend that you get in on this. The better equipment, you even get gold equipment. He's probably 100 plus contact, 100 plus power, both ways. You get diamond equipment. He's nearly maxed out. You play a little road to the show. Uh, he is maxed out for both hitting and pitching. The best way I can describe it, you're getting equal parts Barry Bonds and Randy fucking Johnson at that point, which is kind of mind blowing to think about. Now, again, we talked about, will that get patched? 
likely. <laughs> um, it's obviously not as intended. I would imagine that they are going to patch things. Now, from there on forward, talking about getting your ball player up, it's a segue into there because this is how you're going to get up without having the big diamond equipment. And also when they do inevitably patch this, you're gonna want to, you know, get up there the legit way. <laughs> You know, legit in air quotations because we're talking about servers. A blank canvas, baby. Blank canvas. Um, absolutely fantastic way to grind this out. I will show you guys right here. Uh, you go into your ball player. We got the filthy slugger skill set currently going. You look at the tasks and rewards, and it works a lot like last year, a lot like previous years. All you got to do is go in and get stats. You don't even have to pitch for this. Actually, this is a road to the show. I built off a pure hitter, so I'm not going to have any pitching opportunities at all, but it doesn't matter. You get 15 plate appearances. That's three program stars. You get uh, 12 hits, which are playing on beginner difficulty on blank canvas. Again, only for the newer consoles, the PS5, the Xbox uh, Series X and S. Five extra base hits. That's points. 12 hits. That's points. One extra base hit. That's 10 points right there. Very, very very quick progression that you're going to earn um, to upgrade this and on top of the equipment get an absolute crazy ball player like I said I haven't touched this one uh, I've not touched the two-way player at all but we'll move on to before I knew about this glitch I was working on a shortstop a little silly gomer didn't understand what uh, secrets lined before him so we'll go back and wrote the show this is the actual save i built for this but again it doesn't matter you just swap and swap out you see this guy actually has overall because we've actually played on it it's truly crazy that if you just go out and spend some stubs on these and i would advise you if you're normally spent to keep an eye on it because these equipment prices are inflated partly due to the glitch right now they are going to go down once uh you know the game's back uh, to a functional state as far as creative players go but like i said we've been grinding this um we're already halfway through the silver tier and i have played uh, i don't know we'll check the calendar here i'm gonna guess um may yeah uh May 7th, uh, you know, just breezing by nearly a full season. Uh, super quick. You go on blank canvas. If you're not on the newer consoles, if you're on PS4, for example, I would certainly recommend still this method. Uh, what you should do then is probably use like Laughing Mountain Park or something. Just high elevation. Chorus Field is also great as well. Uh, stadium assignment is big. You know, if you get blank canvas, which again, we talked about it earlier, I should mention, use my online ID, Golems the Legend, you'll find it. It should be the first thing to pop up. You can also select it as each and every single stadium. So whether you're home or away, blank canvas is inevitable. Death taxes and hitting, you know, 270 foot bombs here at this ballpark. Uh, it's a great old time. If you're watching like Netflix or something with it, it's it's mind-numbingly boring. So I'd highly recommend uh, catch up on some shows if if you got them. Uh, I don't know, Mandalorian season three is out. That's a banger. In general, I'd certainly recommend. Uh, there's no reason to be grinding out um, a hitter at this point. I, I definitely recommend do a two-way player glitch or not because with it actually working in Diamond Dynasty, you might as well get the benefit, just like Shohei Otani, to get the hitting and pitching aspect for a pitcher you get to choose what pitches you want from the jump which automatically makes it a little little broken uh, a little crazy that you can just get the wildest pitch mix right away right there for you so i put four seam sinker cutter splitter and a screwball um pretty wild you can you know display it to your heart's content right there um but you're gonna want to do a little bit of grinding get them finally tuned up because there's a few things that equipment will not hit and like i showed you it goes for a metric and like I showed you, equipment goes for a metric uh, load, so it is definitely going to be costly. You're going to want to play some play some games as well and grind up these skill sets. As far as which ones are the best, it really doesn't matter, you know, because you only have to grind out one and then you get a pack of all the next tier. Uh, I'll show you again with my uh, the hitter that I grinded out, a big gomer right here. Um, we were on the silver tier, as you guys saw, we're on Sparking Slugger. But again, that doesn't really matter because I have all the skill sets in a pack. Um, 
I recommend just like the Contact Power one. It's going to make it the easiest audio for it, grinding out these stats. And then apart from that, like Speedy Slugger is always good. You get the power, and on top of that, you're also going to gain, um, you know, the speed, which is really cool too. Uh, but equipment is going to take your cap as far as you want it to. You really can pick whichever one you want, and equipment is just going to fill in the holes. You know, I'll call that cocking right there. It just does a great job fixing them in. Um, but yeah, ball player is absolutely crazy again. Uh, I do want to hit home again. If you want to get that double boost, you have to make sure that he is a two-way player. That is very important. You also have to make sure that you load in the right ball player. Ah, don't we love the magic of editing? There we go. Uh, put him in a pitcher and then also DH. From what I know, you have to put him in at DH. This does not work uh, if he's at an actual position. So DH, and then you put him in either your rotation or your bullpen, depending if he's a starter or a relief pitcher. And you're going to benefit on the double boost. That equipment is going to count twice. I will leave you in the comments section below if they do fix this, if and when. We'll see. Um, but apart from that, I really recommend a grinding ball player. Use the blank canvas. Use those tips that we uh, you know, taught right there because it is going to be a breeze. You're going to get a 99 ball player, probably the best card of the game, uh, very, very quickly. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. I don't know. Uh, there's been a lot of talks about creative players even being in DD regardless. But yeah, leave a like if you guys did enjoy it. More big videos coming on the Gomer Simpson channel soon. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys.